This video is about how to install VirtualBox 7 into an Ubuntu 22.04 hardware machine. Some of what's new in VirtualBox 7 should be able to install Windows 11 without editing the Windows registry. It has a new streamlined graphical user interface, a GUI. It has an automated virtual machine builder, enhanced 3D support, and full virtual machine encryption. Outcomes are what you should be able to do after watching the video. Download VirtualBox and VirtualBox Extension Pack. Extract and view a VirtualBox.deb archive file. Install VirtualBox 7 in Ubuntu 22.04. Add the install user to the VBox users group and give that user the permissions needed to run VirtualBox. And finally, install the VirtualBox extension pack. Requirements? An Ubuntu 22.04 hardware machine with an additional 1 gigabyte RAM, more than the Ubuntu minimum, an internet connection, and administrative privileges on the Ubuntu machine. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. I would like to point out that this additional info slide contains some links to assist you if you get into issues when installing VirtualBox 7. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. Here I am at VirtualBox.org and I'm going to download VirtualBox 7 and install on Ubuntu 22.04. Now you'll notice that this is not a typical Ubuntu machine. It's one of my hardware laptops. And it's got a different color screen, and then the icons are at the bottom. But it's still Ubuntu 22.04 just looks a little different. So the VirtualBox main page is www.virtualbox.org. And then if I want to download VirtualBox, I go over here and click on Downloads. VirtualBox 7.0.6 platform packages. I'll go to Linux distributions. Then I click on Ubuntu 22.04 and you'll notice it's downloaded. And that's pretty much all there is to download it. Let's go back to downloads and this time I'm going to download the VirtualBox 7.0.6 Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Click all supported platforms and very quickly it's downloaded. Now, let me verify that we have those packages. I'm going to open up my terminal. You notice that in this case I have a white background instead of a black background. I'm going to do a CD downloads. Go to the directory where everything's downloaded in Ubuntu by default. Do an LS. And there I have VirtualBox, the .deb file and then the extension pack. If I want to see what's inside the .deb file, I'm simply going to extract it and see what's inside using tree, the pkg, Debian package, dash deb, no space between, dash xv extract, verbose, virtual. I would have to probably copy this copy, paste, and give it a place to extract. In this case, it'll be this directory. So to do that, I add a dot, then the pipe. I do a tree, and then from file. Hit enter. Whoops, an error. It says I don't have tree installed, so let me install it. sudo apt install tree dash y for yes. So that would be how you would want to install tree. And then I would hit the up arrow twice. Well, what did I do wrong? Oh. Stupid me. This time it'll go. And there. 130 directories, 648 files and you can see all the files that are downloaded. 
and there's 648 files there. And so the dev package is simply an archive package. So let me go ahead and close this. Actually, I'm going to leave it open. And in the next section, I'm going to show how to install VirtualBox. Okay, in this section, I'm going to be installing VirtualBox. Now, before we install VirtualBox 7, if you have VirtualBox 6, make sure it's closed and it's not running because VirtualBox 7 will not install when VirtualBox 6 is running. So there are actually two ways you can do it. One, you can go to the terminal and you can do a sudo apt install. And um, since I'm in the downloads directory, I can just put in the file and it will install. However, I'm going to show you the other way. The other way is I'm going to open up the uh, download section, go to the download section using the file manager. And here it is, VirtualBox 7.0. Right click. I'm going to open it with another application and software install. Select and it will start to install it. Installs right here with the software installer. Click on install. Ask for your password. Now you notice right here it says preparing. It's going to say preparing until it's installed until you see the little trash can that basically means that you can delete it if you want. So now that it's installed, I'm going to close this. Actually, I'm going to close this also. Now you're going to have to add this user to the VirtualBox group. And the easiest way i found to do this, go to the terminal and do a sudo user mod dash a dash g add to group v box users this user hit enter then let's do a sudo reboot and we're going to verify that it's been added so now i've rebooted so let me open up the terminal I would go groups dollar user hit enter and you'll notice that this user Mike is in the VBox users group. So should be able to run VirtualBox now. Go to show applications. If you're in normal Ubuntu, that'll be on the left. I'm going to type in VirtualBox. Okay, the first thing I like to do right here is right click and add it to the favorites before actually running it. That way it appears down in the bottom and then open it up. So I've got VirtualBox now and it's running. How about going through and installing the extension pack? Now to install VirtualBox extension pack, I would go over here We've got tools, this section here, and then I would click in here, click extensions, and then install. And we'd go to wherever the extension pack is. In this case, it's download. It may not go automatically. Highlight it, and then click open. And it says you're about to install a VirtualBox extension pack. Click install. You're going to have to go for the license. It's free for personal, educational, or evaluation use. Scroll all the way down. Click on I agree. Of course, you're going to have to add your uh, password. And so now the extension pack is installed. So that's it for installing VirtualBox. And now you're going to have to go ahead and start creating some virtual machines. If you've had VirtualBox 6 on your Ubuntu install, the virtual box machine should be populated already here. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know.
While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers. <laughs>